what can be the reasons of IVF failure? So a person can have IVF failures because of many reasons. First of all, we need to see her cycle in total. What is her age? What is her body, body mass index or the weight? Third thing which needs to be taken into consideration is that how many eggs were retrieved? What were the maturity of the eggs? And also what were the semen parameters on the day of IVF? And once the semen parameters we have seen was any kind of method been applied on the sperm selection. Next coming over to once those sperms were injected or IVF was done on the eggs then how many eggs got fertilized? Next we need to see that how many uh, embryos have formed and what was the day of the embryo, the quality of the embryos, the grading of the embryos. All these need to be taken into consideration. So this is about the IVF cycle. Now coming over to the transfer cycle. So when we are going towards the transfer, we need to see that whether it was a fresh transfer. That means whether the transfer was being done during the IVF cycle itself, during the stimulation cycle itself. Second thing is, was it a frozen transfer? Whatever was the way of transfer, what were the hormonal levels of the female? What was the quality or the grading of the embryos? What was the lining thickness? What was the vascularity of the lining? Was there any issues with the lining, like having any kind of fluid in the cavity? Or if the patient has many fibroids or adenomyosis, which can also decrease the chances of a pregnancy. Any kind of pretreatment for adenomyosis or fibroids, like lupride, was it been given? So all these things, when we take into consideration in total, we can try and come to a point wherein we can see that what could be the reason of the IVF cycle failure in the past. Now, second thing is how many failures have happened after the transfer? Like how many transfers have been done? What were the day of the embryos transferred? What grading of the embryos which was been transferred? And then is the uh, if there have been uh, failures in the past, have we done the karyotyping of the couple or not? Now, if the karyotyping of the couple is normal and the, for the failures as such, we cannot see anything significant. Another thing which can be done to improve the chances of pregnancy in such couples is to consider about doing the pre-implantation genetic testing of the embryos. Second thing is the lining of the female, the endometrial lining can also be tested to see when is it receptive. This is specifically for patients who have had two failed transfers wherein four good quality embryos or blastocysts were being transferred. And even after considering all these points, the patient is not being able to get pregnant. Then depending on the cause, is it the egg quality, the embryo quality which is forming, the sperm quality or the sperm selection which is there is not working for the female, we can give the treatment accordingly. Now the next consideration comes to wherein we have seen the era of the patient or the endometrial receptivity of the patient, the genetic testing of the embryos have been done, still the pregnancy is not been possible. In those patients, there is a low level evidence role of doing some immune modulation for the patient. But yes, that is also in the experimental phase. So these are all things which can be checked for the patient. Thank you.